Hi everybody, and welcome back to my series of advanced stats on the field. Uh, today we're going to look at the Seattle Reign and Nahomi Kawasumi's first game back. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Kawasumi is a Japanese international who played with the Reign a couple years ago and just re-signed with them about, as of Earth this recording, two weeks ago. Uh, so we're going to look at her first game back on July 2nd against the Boston Breakers where she scored two goals. Uh, this is the first one right here, and that's Kawasumi right here with the ball out wide, uh, dribbling it down the field on a nice counterattack, passes the ball out, uh, gets played in, and you see a bad clearance, goes right back to Kawasumi in the center of the pitch, and she scores her first goal back with the Seattle Reign. This is what I want to talk about today. We'll talk about a couple different aspects of it, and we'll see what we can learn from advanced stats and what's going on. So here's my tweet from that day, actually. And I, I talked about at the time how this was a great example of how simple analytics could have helped here. Uh, Boston made two mistakes trying not to give up a corner, which led to a goal. I'm actually not sure why I saw two mistakes here, but at the time I saw that bad clearance is a pretty big mistake by the defender. And I thought, you know, why not just let the ball go out or let someone else take it? You know, clearing it right to the middle of the pitch seems like a fairly big mistake. Uh, but the big question is, was it that big of a mistake? So let's take a look at the goal one more time and see what's going on. So we're playing the goal back here, and again, there's Kawasumi's pass. Pushes the ball out to the wide here. And as you can see, we've got you know the first defender not quite keeping up. It's a great ball. Kawasumi plays it. It's a little bit wide. It's a little bit far. But on the other hand, any closer and... You know, you might see the defender be able to stop this uh, cross into the box. So, the defender in question is right here. And you can see, it's fairly good position. Um, getting ready to intercept any cross that comes through. And here's what happens. You can see the ball played in. And here's the defender right here. Overruns the play a little bit. As you can see, she's you know still running at full speed toward the touchline, and ends up behind the ball as it's crossed in, plays it off her back foot, and you can see the ball start to be centered right here, right back to the center of the pitch. From here, Kawasumi gets her shot, taken right about here, ball goes in the back of the net, score 1-0 Seattle Reign. So was this the right play? Well, we can talk about a couple things here. The first is whether you know the defender was in a good position by the time she made the clearance. Probably not. Um, should she have made the clearance? Probably. What you're looking at here is the ball's being crossed in to this area right here. It's hard to tell where it would have gone, but there's a Seattle Reign attacking player in a very good position here. Very central very close to the net, life is good. There is a defender marking her. Um, whether that ball gets through or not, I'm not sure. But as a defender over here, I don't think you can fully know that. I think you have to play the ball, clear it out, and hope for the best. Um, people can disagree with me. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But I think the first defender has to try to play that ball because there's a Seattle Rain player right in the center here. Unfortunately, the ball goes right into the middle of the box. Kawasumi's making a trailing run that puts her right on top of it. So what I want to do now is look at the outcome though. Knowing what we know, that the ball is going to land right here to Kawasumi, open for a shot versus, you know, played closer in, but maybe for a more contested shot. What is the difference? Was one better than the other? What happened? Was this the right play to make? So as you can see, I've highlighted the two shot areas. This right here is where the actual shot from Kawasumi was taken, more or less. And I picked this area as where the shot would have been taken, assuming the cross got past and then got through the closest defender. So I looked at the expected goals here. For Kawasumi's shot, you have one relatively centrally located. It's about, let's say, 9 or 10 yards out. Uh, the shot's not really under pressure. By the time she gets there, she's going to be clear of this defender right here. Um, so that's good for her. Centrally located. Still on a counterattack, so that's a nice bonus for her. Uh, kicked with a foot as opposed to headed. Life is good. 
And I looked it up, and the expected goal value for this red shot right here is about 3, or 0.38, excuse me. So it has about a 38% chance of scoring from that position. That's pretty strong for a shot. Um, you don't see many shots with a higher value than that, unless the goalkeeper makes some sort of error, something like that. The big question then is, what type of shot did the defender stop? And the defender stopped the shot right around here that's closer to goal, which is always important, still relatively central. Uh, I counted this as defensive pressure right here, and defensive pressure ends up making a big difference, especially inside the box. And given that, this shot was about a 0.41 likelihood of going in. Uh, that 0.41 is not much different than the 0.38 from here. They're roughly the same equivalent. The next question then becomes, do you think this you know, cross gets through, or do you think either the goalkeeper or the nearest defender clear it out? Um, do you know that Kawasumi's here? What are the odds of all these separate events happening? That's a different question for a different day. I think you have to go, though, as a defender, under the idea that if you can stop a cross from getting into the box, you have to try. Um, given that, the shot was actually slightly worse a uh, lower expected value than it would have been otherwise. What I thought was an error turns out to have been actually a pretty decent defensive move that just didn't turn out quite right. Didn't end up giving a better or worse shot, really, than it would have had the cross gone through. Um, so analytics at least taught me something here. Taught me that, you know, given all the circumstances with the expected goals, it turns out that the defensive error didn't make that much of a difference in terms of the outcome here. So... Uh, fair play to the Boston Breakers.